The next DC movie coming our way is called The Blue Beetle. If you had no idea about this movie I do not blame you at all. The marketing team of this movie seems to be in a state of deep sleep. Before I explain you about the situation of Blue Beetle and DC movies overall, I just want to quickly address one small thing. If you are a fan of science fiction and comic book movies, you are going to have a great time over here in my channel. So please subscribe and welcome to my cosmic realm. Each of your subscription truly means a lot. Okay now back to the topic. I went to watch Meg 2 The Trench, Other Night and the Blue Beetle trailer was played before the start of the movie. There were a couple of middle-aged guys sitting behind me in the theater. As soon as the trailer started playing, they were like, oh no. Just do not play one of these cringe MCU trailers again. That is how much the general audience seem to know about this movie. And it really pains me as a DC fan. I am not ashamed to admit that I loved everything about the couple of trailers that we got so far. It is fun, colorful, some cool action sequences. The best thing which I found personally was the character of Blue Beetle himself. His costume is like a blue version of the Iron Spider costume from Avengers Endgame. But of course it is way more powerful and advanced. Unfortunately, it looks like Blue Beetle is just going to be another addition to a long list of failures for DC movies. It started with Wonder Woman 1984, then The Suicide Squad, then Black Adam, then Shazam Fury of the Gods and the latest addition being The Flash. And I personally thought, each of these movies were pretty good movies. I had a great time watching each and every one of these movies. The only thing that lacked in those movies was interconnectivity. Most people believe that those movies failed because they had nothing to do with the bigger DC cinematic universe. But that is not the case with the upcoming Blue Beetle movie. In fact this movie is going to be the first edition within the brand new universe under James Gunn. Unlike the DCEU this time Warner Brothers are so serious on building a shared cinematic universe that they have dedicated an entire team of filmmakers and producers to take care of DC movies collectively called DC Studios. But as it stands the Blue Beetle movie comes at the wrong time. It comes at a time when people just do not care about DC movies anymore especially not a DC movie about a lesser known C-list character like Blue Beetle. I honestly feel really bad for the makers of this film, the actors and everyone working behind the camera. As filmmakers and actors, the best you can do is to make good movies. There is nothing more you can do beyond that. So it is really unfair and harsh on the makers of Blue Beetle because from the trailers, it looks like they have at least done a really decent job. If you are the boss at Warner Brothers, the only thing that can bring DC back to its lost glory is that you should to stick to a plan and try and make good movies on a consistent basis. It may not give you any commercial success for the initial stages but eventually after the universe starts taking shape, people will start to get interested in the DC universe. The studio needs to trust James Gunn because he is a brilliant director and we have all seen his amazing work during his time with Marvel Studios. The studio needs to give him some time and stick with him even though he may not be able to produce immediate results. This is the only way that DC movies can reclaim their lost glory. They cannot afford to reboot the whole universe again. So that's all I have to say in this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments about Blue Beetle below. And please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.